Welcome back. Rafa Garcia versus Clay Guida. Rafa Garcia is 28 years old, 14 and 3 as a pro. All three losses come in the UFC and they come by decision. Drakkar Close, Chris Gritzmacher, and Nazrat Hapgrast. And while I was quick to shit on his cardio, and still I'm not completely sold that he's got the best cardio, I do think I underestimated his cardio after he lost to Chris Gritzmacher. He definitely faded in that fight. And Gritzmacher is a guy that typically, if you're not going to smoke him athletically, he does build as the fight go, goes on. But overall, between the three losses, the fact that uh, Rafa wasn't finished, I think bodes well for his toughness. You know, uh, he's definitely not the best striker, neither is Clay Guida, of course. But uh, Rafa Garcia, is, uh, he's got a chin on him. Speaking of uh, knockouts and whatever, he's only got one of them in his 14 victories. And he's got eight submissions, five decisions. He's got some nice victories in the UFC. He beat Jesse Ronson last year, Natan Levy by decision maybe a year and a half ago, and Maha Shate in his last fight, which was a pretty close fight. I, I hesitate to call it a war, but it was close. Uh, but still, Rafa Garcia was steadily outworking him and getting him down all three rounds. And... Uh, that only adds to, you know, my, uh, whatever, my opinion of his cardio. I think he's got better cardio, again, than I once uh, estimated it to be at. But here he's fighting a very unique matchup in Clay Guida. Guida's 41 years old. He's been beaten every which way. He's been victorious every which way. But it, uh, he's a very unique wrestler. Clay Guida. If Clay Guida can get you down, if he can win the if he can win the takedown battle, he's probably going to win the fight. Because if he gets any takedown on you, he's probably going to be able to get it on you. You know, for, for the whole fight. Clay Guida is a relentless wrestler, and again, he's 41 years old, so he's probably getting older and slower and whatever. But he's still uh, the more energetic fighter in most of his fights, and that's what I expect to be the case here. It's just, can he time a takedown on Rafa Garcia? Rafa Garcia has a low center of gravity, just like Clay Guida. I'm sure he's going to be looking to defend the takedown, maybe with a guillotine choke, to be honest. But uh, he knows Clay's coming in on his hips. Can he defend against Clay? Can he uh, make Clay pay in one way or another and thwart the takedown or, uh, assault? I'm picking no. I'm thinking Clay Guida is going to get him down and this is going to be kind of a vintage Clay Guida performance. I think it will be kind of a close fight. You know, maybe some sloppy striking. But I'm expecting Clay to dig deep and get inside on Rafa's hips on more than one occasion. Again, again it could be tough taking down a fucking bowling ball. But with... No threat really on the feet, aside from just, you know, the big overhand right. Rafa Garcia has only got one TKO in his 14 victories. I think uh, Clay can relax a little more in this one. And he can find a little more room to set up his takedowns. You know, and maybe Rafa will flip the script and end up uh, trying to get Clay on his back. I know he's probably... He probably thinks he's got better jujitsu and can put Clay Guido away. But getting on top of him is a pretty tall order. Regardless, I see the value on Clay Guida. He's at plus 210. I saw this instantly and said, huh, I'll jump on that. Guida, he's been defeated plenty of times, most of which by submission. And uh, let's see, he's got 22 losses, 11 via submission, just been TKO'd twice, and he's got 8 losses via decision. The submissions, you know, the last few at least come by guillotine. The Jim Miller, Tiago Tavares, whoever the fuck else. And uh, that's certainly possible, even though Hoffa, Rafa Garcia, I believe, doesn't have one guillotine choke out of all of his victories. He's got eight submission victories. They're whatever, rear nakeds and arm bars and whatever, but I don't think there's one guillotine. Not that that matters, because Guida has been submitted with rear naked chokes and everything else. Knee bar in his last one to Claudio Puyas. But uh, Rafa Garcia, I don't think he'll be able to fight his... I don't think he'll be able to fight the fight he's looking to fight in every fight, which is taking the guy down and being on top and working him over methodically. I think Guida's wrestling is going to take that right off the table, and I know if they're in any sort of a hard fight, even at 41 years old, I trust Clay Guida to fight to the bitter end. Whereas Rafa Garcia, I expect him to fight to the bitter end too, but 
you know, uh, I don't think he'll be working as hard in round three as Clay Guida. So Clay Guida by decision is the pick. Clay Guida by decision or TKO at plus 300 is the bet because they fucked this up. They have decision at plus 225 or KO and decision for plus 300. They're stupid, so I jumped on that. Clay Guida by decision, though, is pretty much where I'm going. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.